Hi, this is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com. Uh, here at uh, Gary Air Force, Gary, Indiana, where we're about to go up in uh, GoGo's special test plane, which is equipped with their new 2KU satellite system, which promises 70 megabits of uh, download speed per plane globally. Uh, let's get out there, let's get into the plane, and uh, let's see if we can stream Netflix. Now I'm taking off while running a speed test. This isn't something you can normally do uh, with GoGo -Go because it's not supposed to work when you're under 10,000 feet, but on GoGo's special plane, anything's possible. Let's see how we're doing. I'm getting about 15, 16 megabits down at liftoff. So here we go again, we're in the middle of a cloud, and there's a guy next to me who is periscoping, so there goes all of GoGo's upstream bandwidth. Still though, I'm getting at least 10 or 11 down, which is very good for an individual seat on a plane. So here's the great test. Can you Netflix with GoGo in the air? The answer, at least right now at the beginning of the flight, looks like yes. I'm streaming Doctor Who over Netflix right now. That 10 megabits per second per seat is really paying off. Now I'm watching GoGo TV, GoGo's own IPTV system. The advantage of this over Netflix is that GoGo's going to provide guaranteed quality of service. They are basically proclaiming to the airlines that this isn't going to buffer. Uh, right now, they only have two channels in the sample system. It's live, so there isn't uh, clicking around. And as you can see, it's pretty much a standard deaf TV experience, but it's a smooth, clean standard deaf TV experience. Now, they said they could partner with existing multi-channel TV providers or basically be their own TV provider, making deals with individual channels or let airlines make deals with individual channels uh, to provide this service on GoGo -Go planes with 2KU. So here's a live test of dynamically loading Google Maps on GoGo's new 2KU system. I'm gonna zoom really quickly into a random point in America and let's see how quickly it resolves. Zooming around. Here, let's go to Chicago. So this is taking a little while. This was something I was seeing earlier. There seems to be a lot of latency with Google right now. So here's a different video streaming site, Vivo, on GoGo's 2KU system. This pre-roll video took a long time to load. It's the latency in the satellite connection that's the problem. Once it gets going, it gets going, but to actually open that connection takes a while. Now it's moved from the pre-roll to the music video, and here we go. As I said, once you open the connection to Vivo, which takes several seconds, you get streaming video, and there's not a lot of buffering. That's something that you're not going to see on most in-flight Wi-Fi right now. So now we've been in the air for about half an hour, and I am not thrilled with the Gmail performance. Um, I'm trying to log into my Gmail. I was trying to send a Gmail a little bit earlier, and it just wasn't connecting. Now the system's trying to connect to mail.google.com, and it's taking a long time. Now I'm also trying to run a speed test. And that is also taking a very long time to connect. Ooh, look at that. It's more than a second of latency. And the download speeds, am I down to one megabit a second? This does not necessarily bode very well. So I talked to the GoGo -Go guys and I figured out what was going wrong with my Gmail, which is apparently that the link here, even at 70 megabits per second, is getting totally hammered. Uh, they showed me a diagnostic screen, which I'm not allowed to show you, and it just showed that the downlink is at 100% on this plane, as all of these journalists are running the highest bandwidth applications they can for free. Uh, so far, we've been in the air for less than an hour, and uh, apparently the plane has downloaded more than three gigabytes of data. So, 
uh, GoGo 2KU has a lot more capacity than the previous uh, systems, but the capacity is still not unlimited. Well, we successfully and safely landed the GoGo -Go plane in some pretty turbulent circumstances. Uh, we're going to head back to GoGo -Go headquarters now and find out more about how their in-flight Wi-Fi system works. This is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com on GoGo's new 2KU equipped plane, which is bumping down the runway right now.